guys. I'll just do another little short video here on another maintenance. Uh, a lot of guys have been asking to see the TAM air handlers. So there it is, a TAM. So this is a TAM 7, 36. Old train, plastic air handler. I'll show you guys how we use this stuff right here. I love this stuff. And we have these homemade funnels that they make for us. And you just pour that down the funnel. And then I fill these two bottles up with hot water. Because this stuff has to be activated by hot water. Cold water will not activate it. That stuff will eat up whatever is in there. If there's any kind of buildup in that drain, that stuff will just absolutely eat it up. And that's it. That's all there is to doing that. All right, guys, here's the coil section of the TAM. Uh, I always check it because, you know, this is where your coil would get dirty here and here. It's clean. You have your electronic expansion valve right here. And then right here in this section, you just slide this out. You have your board. This is, this is a non-communicating system. It's not communicating just slides back in like so well supposed to some of these can be a little difficult you just have to take your time with them there it goes okay now it's back in place uh i have a i have mixed feelings about this air handler i mean the idea i think is good but I, I don't know. I used to be, like when they first came out, I was a huge fan of them when I sold Train, but now I, I don't know if, I think the cons outweigh the pros on this air handler. But I would love to hear what you guys think about this air handler. I mean, I guess it's not horrible. I mean, we, other than the, some of the ones where, like some of these, these tubes right here will, will blow. I mean, like right here where the weld is, they'll blow out and lose all the Freon. Other than that, we haven't had any issues with them here at where I work, but I don't know. I still don't know if I'm a complete fan of them or not, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. All right, guys, our outdoor unit on this job is a XL19i, two-stage, and uh, got the disconnect pulled. So I'm going to, like these dirt dauber nest, get rid of that. There's a couple more down here. So I know I got, yeah, there's my brush. Simple things like that, guys get rid of all this crap so one thing I that I'm disappointed in about this area is the lack of heat pumps uh, compared to back in Alexandria you know a lot most everything was heat pumps but and it's not just the company I work for. All the companies here in the in this area don't like heat pumps. They do straight electric heat with air conditioning. 
as you can see, that was an air handler in here. And if you look in here, there's no defrost board. This is a straight cool two-stage unit. Uh, not a fan of that at all, because I am a huge fan of heat pumps. So this is an easy maintenance. Check the contactor ohms, make sure it's not pitted, check the capacitor and wash it. And uh, I've already checked the refrigerant levels. It's not dirty. You can look in there and see it's clean as a whistle. Even on the back side, it's clean. But we will use that hose right there and put water only. I got all that out of there. Capacitor's a little rusty. Doesn't mean it's not good. We'll check it. There's your uh, little relay. I'm getting familiar with train, but I can see right here that we have we have a common, a Y1 and a Y2, which goes through here. And I believe that it's a scroll compressor with an unloader for first and second stage. Yeah, it's a scroll. I don't know if y'all can see that down there. Probably not with this top. It's an Alliance scroll with an unloader for first and second stage. Uh, no ECM outdoor fan motor. Single speed fan motor, just the compressor goes from high to low. So, all right guys, well I already walked out through the process of, che of, of how I check all this other stuff on the last maintenance video. It, this is nothing more. So, uh, crop duster, South Louisiana. So, uh, I just wanted to shoot that quick video and just give y'all a peek at the TAM. I know, look, if I come across a TAM with an issue, I will definitely film it. Um, but I just wanted to do a video of the TAM itself and that thrift cleaner that we use. You, you guys should definitely try that out. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.